Hi, I hope you all are well and ready for some more AWS Lambda. In this video, we will learn about AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store, or in short, SSM parameters, and how to make use of it in a Lambda function. Before we continue, if you find my videos interesting and want to learn more about serverless and AWS, please consider subscribing to my channel and smash that bell icon to get notified when I publish more content. Okay, so first, some general information about AWS Parameter Store. As the name hints, it's a service where you can store configuration data that your application can access whenever needed. In AWS Parameter Store, you have two types of parameters. Standard and Advanced Parameters. Standard parameters are free to use and requests to the service is also free. Advanced Parameters, on the other hand, comes with additional costs. I'm not going to go too deep into the different types, but the most important takeaway is that Advanced Parameters can store larger objects and you can assign policies to them, like for example expiration. Typical things to store in AWS Parameter Store are, for example, URLs to APIs or databases. You may also store secrets like database credentials or API keys here. But uh, then you may wonder why use SSM parameters to store secrets when you have AWS Secrets Manager, which is specialized to do that. Well, SSM parameters can also be encrypted using KMS making it secure to store stuff like database credentials or API keys. But then again, there are still some security aspects that Secrets Manager can provide that SSM cannot, such as automatic key rotation. But an argument for using SSM parameters instead of Secrets Manager is that it's free and Secrets Manager isn't, unless you make use of advanced parameters in that case, SSM parameters is also not free. In other words, make sure to investigate what service suits your needs the best. Just as a side note, SSM parameters can also be stored in hierarchies. This is accomplished by naming the parameters like URL paths with slashes to separate the different levels in the hierarchy. This way, you can get all parameters starting with the same path or subpath in one request. Okay, enough theory for one day. On to the coding. I want to create an SSM parameter that can store the URL to an API and retrieve that parameter in a Lambda function, which can return that URL to us. First, go over to Systems Manager and click on Parameter Store. Okay, now that we are here, we can hit Create Parameter now give the parameter a name, and I'm gonna call it external-api-url. Next, choose the tier. I want to choose standard since this is free. We also must choose the type. Here, Parameter Store provides us with three options. String, String List, which is a comma-separated string, and Secure String, which can be encrypted with KMS. I'll go for a string, since this is just a simple URL. We could of course choose secure string if we want to encrypt the parameter with KMS. This would be very useful if we wanted to store more sensitive data, such as API keys or database credentials, as mentioned earlier. Or if you want to share the parameter with another AWS account. Next, data type can be text. And lastly, the value which is just this URL. This URL won't work for you since it's a temporary endpoint I've created for this video, so just put in whatever URL you want for your application. Finally, we can hit Create Parameter. The parameter is immediately created and we can start implementing the Lambda function that will access it. If we go over to Lambda, you can see that I have already created a Lambda function called ssm-demo. It's just an empty function with a basic Lambda execution role attached to it, like we have created so many times before. 
we can start by importing Bodo3 and inside the Lambda Handler function, create a Bodo3 SSM client. Now create a response variable and call client.get parameter with the SSM parameter name inside. Next, in the return object, unpack the SSM parameter response by calling parameter and value on the response object. This way we can retrieve just the string value. The lambda function is now finished, but we need to add an ion policy to let our lambda function call parameter store to retrieve our parameter. So go over to IAM, search for our lambda function role and open it. Click on attach policy and search for SSM and attach the policy named Amazon SSM read only access. You should probably create a custom policy so that you only give access to one specific SSM parameter and not read access to all SSM parameters. But again, this is just a demo. Okay, now that's done, we can go back to the Lambda function and hit deploy and test. Just create a random test event since we aren't going to use any of the data inside the event anyways. Now hit test again and perfect, we got our API URL in the response body. This means we can successfully retrieve SSM parameters in a Lambda function. So, in the next video, we will learn how to send messages from a Lambda function to SQS. I hope you liked this video, if so, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will try to answer them the best I can. Until next time, happy coding!